Alright, hello everybody, my name is Matchstick, and today I have something a bit different to show you. Um, first things first, I have a different suit now, it's the medieval suit you get when you buy medieval engineers. Um, since they did the, uh, the thing with the skins, I, I really really like this suit because it just looks very industrial and rough and it just fits with space engineers really well. Um, the skybox if you're interested is Keepers of Sajuk. Uh, I'll leave a link to it in the description. It's amazing. I really really like this skybox. And uh, yep, let's just get straight to the thing that I made. Well, those are some armor parts, don't worry about those. But we have a giant sphere now. Yep, I've wasted three hours of my life just building a sphere. Why? I don't know. Well, actually I do know, but the reason's not really that good. So, if we drop into here, you can see a bunch of these black structs on the side. Those are just to keep the thing together. And in the middle we have just eight gravity generators that pull you all in the middle. And what are these called? Batteries. So, if we get out of this thing again, and that was a weird noise. Um, I, I'm recording this video for the third time because I was never really happy with how it turned out. So, this time I actually know the orbiting speed for anything is 70 meters a second, and you can make orbiting things with this. That's one of the main reasons I made this thing, because if you look, it flies. You can't actually make orbiting things with uh, with the normal space engineers planets, because uh, the gravity on normal planets is staggered into layers. So pretty much, till here from the from the bottom, you have like one g of force, and a layer you have 0.9 g. And another lay of 0.8g and so on and so forth and now since when you're moving through this and you want something orbiting you have to be in the same layer all the time otherwise you're gonna be too slow crashing to the planet be too fast and leave the planet um, it's practically impossible to actually do this so for the time being there's no really reliable way on how to make orbiting things in this game that's just a limitation of the uh, of how planets work. So I've taken it upon myself to build an artificial planet and make orbiting things for this. Um, I'll leave you a link to the blueprint of this down in the description. Um, probably just an empty sphere. You can add the pillars and the gravity generators really easily if you want to have it. Make it have gravity that way around. Um, you could make this into a Death Star. I just realised. That would be really cool, actually. Um, no, but overall, you could, uh, I don't know, build a city on here, blow it up, make this into a space station, whatever you want. I don't care. Uh, this thing has a diameter of 100 blocks. And I used one of those um, sphere generators for Minecraft, I believe it is. Because um, they're just really useful. They're just really, really useful if you want to make spheres. And this turned out really well is a proper sphere. Uh, I tried smoothing it, bleh, smoothing it out, that's the word, um, with these armor slopes. It didn't look great. It did not look good. Um, this kind of thing with the with the normal blocks looks way better in my opinion. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. Orbiting speed of 75 meters. And you can do whatever you want with this thing so yeah that was a pretty quick video and on the other hand overwatch overwatch halloween event so you might not see another video from me in in quite a while